Today we're diving into the world of Formula 3, where future stars cut their teeth and things can go seriously wrong. We're not talking about your run-of-the-mill spins here. Think cars flipping at insane speeds, splitting in two, or becoming airborne. In this video, we've dug up 20 of the most jaw-dropping F3 crashes you've ever seen. The 2009 Macau F3 race was one to forget for Wayne Boyd. As he enters the back straight, the unthinkable happens. Wayne loses control, and his car crashes with tremendous force. The vehicle careens across the track, hitting the wall twice in a violent ballet of metal and concrete. Spectators watch in stunned silence, expecting the worst. Amazingly, Wayne emerges from the twisted wreckage, seemingly unharmed. He walks away from the scene, a testament to both his skill and incredible fortune. 19-year-old Ulsterman Wayne Boyd miraculously walk away unscathed from a terrifying crash at 170 miles per hour. As the drivers approached the chicane at the end of the Kemmel Strait, Santiago Urrutia found himself in a precarious position. Another car clipped him, sending Urrutia's vehicle flipping upside down and sliding across the runoff area at a jaw-dropping speed of 100 miles per hour. The sight of the car inverted and careening out of control left spectators gasping in disbelief. But the chaos didn't end there. Later in the race, as the cars hurtled towards the notorious Double Gauche corner, disaster struck once more. A multi-car pileup unfolded, triggering a terrifying chain reaction. Cars slammed into the wall, ricocheting off each other like pinballs in a machine. Some vehicles were sent spiraling into the air, landing upside down in a twisted heap of metal and carbon fiber. As the cars slammed behind the safety car, we've cut away, and a very, very nasty accident it would appear behind the safety car, one of the cars involved launched into a multiple barrel roll. In the 1989 British Grand Prix, Paul Stewart, a rising star, finds himself pushing his car to the ragged edge, determined to make up ground and secure a podium finish. As he navigates the legendary circuit, Stewart's focus is unwavering, but fate intervenes. In a heart-stopping instant, Stewart's car drifts wide, plunging into the unforgiving gravel trap. The once sleek machine is now at the mercy of physics as it hurtles towards the tire wall. The impact is brutal, a jarring end to Stewart's hopes of victory. As he emerges from the wreckage, the young driver confronts the harsh realities of motorsport, where success and failure hinge on the finest of margins. And there's more drama again on the edge there. That's Paul Stewart. Paul Stewart racing the uh, Reynard Mugen, and he has totally destroyed one side of the car. Silverstone 2020, a battle for the ages. With just three laps remaining, Caldwell sees his chance and dives down the inside of a rival heading into club corner. It's a daring move, but he's quickly overtaken around the outside. Undeterred, Caldwell attempts a cut back into the next right-hander, determined to regain his position. But then, disaster strikes. Another racer clips Caldwell's car, sending him spinning violently 180 degrees. As he comes to a halt, facing the oncoming traffic, the unthinkable happens. A car, unable to avoid the suddenly stationary Caldwell, plows into him with a sickening crunch. The force of the impact is so severe that it tears Caldwell's car clean in two, scattering debris across the track. Onto it, and then there's the spin for Ollie Caldwell. Will he be collected? Yes, he will, unfortunately. The 2016 Macau F3 race begins with a heart-stopping opening lap. As the drivers navigate the treacherous street circuit, a circuit notorious for its unforgiving nature, tension hangs thick in the air. Suddenly, disaster strikes. Contact amongst the leaders sends shards of carbon fiber cascading across the track, creating a minefield of debris. Yi Hong Lee, unaware of the peril that lies ahead, charges forward at full speed. In a split second, the gravity of the situation becomes clear, but it's too late. Lee slams into the back of the car ahead, a sickening crunch of metal and carbon fiber. The force of the impact is so severe that Lee's car is launched into the air, flipping over the top of his competitor's vehicle in a terrifying display of physics gone wrong.
Fernando Monge, a fierce competitor, pushes his car to the limit as he approaches the final corner, determined to secure a podium finish. But fate has other plans. In a heart-stopping moment, Monge finds himself forced onto the grass, his car suddenly a wild beast that refuses to be tamed. Desperately trying to regain control, Monge becomes a mere passenger in his own vehicle, helpless against the laws of physics. The car slides back onto the track, but it's too late. In a sickening crunch, of metal and carbon fiber, Monge collides with Biagio Bulnes, sending both cars careening towards the unforgiving wall. The impact is brutal, a testament to the raw power and speed of these incredible machines. As the dust settles, the reality of the situation becomes clear. Both Monge and Bolnes see their races end in heartbreak, their dreams of victory shattered on the last corner of the last lap. It's a bitter pill to swallow, a reminder that in the world of motorsport, even the most skilled drivers are at the mercy of chance and circumstance. Biagio Bulnes percuté par Fernando Monre. Manico, 2009. The stage is set for a thrilling battle as Noel Jamal, a determined and skilled driver, pushes his car to the very edge of its capabilities. With each passing lap, Jamal inches closer to the cars ahead, his sights set on overtaking and claiming victory. As he approaches the critical moment, Jamal makes his move. With a burst of speed, he swoops out to pass his rival, his car dancing on the rage's edge of control. But his competitor, unwilling to yield, squeezes Jamal all, leaving him little room to maneuver. In the blink of an eye, the two cars make contact, and the delicate balance of speed and precision is shattered. Jamal's car, once a finely tuned instrument of speed, becomes a helpless victim of physics. The vehicle veers off the track, careening out of control as it slides across the grass and gravel. The impact is sudden and violent, a testament to the raw power of these machines. Jamal's race comes to a jarring halt, his hopes of victory dashed in a single heart-stopping moment. Oh, and we've got a huge roll over there. Oh, it's all gone very, very wrong. That is Jamal. Campos, a skilled and determined driver, finds himself in a high-stakes battle as he hurtles down the back Kemmel Strait. With a rival hot on his heels, Campos pushes his car to the limit, fighting tooth and nail to maintain his position. As they approach the left-hand turn, Campos's competitor makes a daring attempt to overtake around the outside. In a split second, Campos faces a critical decision, yield his hard-fought position or stand his ground. He chooses the latter, refusing to back down from the challenge. But the racing gods have other plans. As Campos tries to hold his line, his rival squeezes him, leaving him with nowhere to go. In a heart-stopping moment, Campos's car makes contact with his competitors, sending him careening off the track and into the air. Time seems to stand still as Campos's vehicle becomes airborne, a helpless prisoner of gravity. The car slams into the unforgiving wall with a sickening crunch, a testament to the brutal forces at play in the world of motorsport. Hill straight, he lost oh! behind the crash. That is Oliver Campos Hull, and that was Sebastian Hohenthal as well. The 1998 F3000 race at the A1 ring in Austria began under treacherous conditions, with a wet track threatening to catch out even the most skilled drivers. As the cars navigated through the first turn, it seemed as though they had managed to escape unscathed, but little did they know that the real drama was about to unfold. As the pack hurtled towards turn two, the slippery surface began to take its toll. Drivers pushing their cars to the limit started to misjudge their braking points, and the inevitable happened. Cars began to collide with one another, like a high-speed game of bumper cars gone terribly wrong. Amidst the chaos, one car stood out. In a heart-stopping moment, it was launched into the air, a victim of the unforgiving laws of physics. The crowd watched in stunned silence as the vehicle seemed to hang suspended in time, before crashing back down to earth with a sickening crunch. Mazakan, look from above! Oh dear, oh dear, I wouldn't be surprised if Mazakan hasn't got a black tire mark on his head.
Oliver Tichy found himself in the heat of battle at the legendary Nürburgring circuit. As he approached the notorious S section, known for its high-speed turns and unforgiving nature, Tichy pushed his car to the absolute limit. With the adrenaline pumping through his veins, Tichy navigated the twists and turns of the Nürburgring, his car dancing on the edge of adhesion. But as he entered the S section, the young driver made a critical error. Misjudging his speed, Tichy carried too much momentum into the turn, a mistake that would prove costly. In a heart-stopping moment, Tichy's car ran wide, leaving the safety of the track and venturing onto the treacherous grass. The vehicle, now a slave to the laws of physics, began to slide sideways, its tires desperately scrambling for grip on the slick surface. What happened next was a scene of utter chaos. Tichy's car, no longer under his control, flipped violently, tumbling end over end across the track. The crowd watched in horror as the machine became a twisted blur of metal and carbon fiber, a sickening ballet of destruction. Ja, das ist Tichy, das Geburtstagskind. Ich wollte gerade sagen, vom Helm her sieht es aus wie Tichy, kommt in unglücklichem Winkel auf die Begrenzung. A 2013 Monza F3 race will forever be etched in the memory of Mons Dwienhagen, a young driver who found himself at the mercy of the elements on that fateful day. As the rain pelted down on the iconic Italian circuit, visibility was reduced to a mere handful of meters, turning the track into a treacherous gauntlet of spray and standing water. Dwienhagen, like his fellow competitors, was forced to navigate this hostile environment at breakneck speeds, relying on instinct and courage to guide him through the chaos. As he approached turn one, the Swede was confronted with a wall of spray, a blinding mist that obscured the track ahead. In a split second, the unthinkable happened. Grienhagen, unable to see the car in front of him, slammed into its rear with a sickening crunch. The impact was so severe that Grienhagen's car was sent careening off the track, flipping and tumbling like a ragdoll caught in a hurricane. Ah oui, y'a eu, y'a eu, oh la 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 la. Picture this, Enrique Bernolgi is absolutely flying around the Silverstone circuit, pushing his car to the ragged edge of its capabilities. The adrenaline is pumping as he navigates the high-speed corners, determined to shave off every possible tenth of a second. But suddenly, disaster strikes. Just ahead, another driver loses control, their car snapping out of line and becoming a high-speed obstacle in Bernolgi's path. Enrique reacts instinctively, wrenching the wheel to take evasive action. But it's too late. In a heart-stopping moment, Bernolgi slams into the stricken vehicle with a sickening crunch. The impact sends his car careening off the track, spinning helplessly towards the unforgiving wall. It's the final lap of the Hungarian F3 Grand Prix, and tensions are running high as drivers battle for position. Soriano, desperate to make up ground, sees a gap and decides to go for it as he approaches the challenging turn two. Diving down the inside, Soriano attempts to pass the car ahead, but he's left it a fraction too late. The two vehicles make contact, sending Soriano's car careening off the track and straight into the unyielding wall at high speed. The impact is severe, and Soriano race comes to an abrupt and devastating end. As marshals run to the scene, the young driver emerges from the wreckage, his dreams of a strong finish shattered in an instant. Soriano, that's not over yet. Soriano now clips the back of Cunard, takes the car into the world. The Red Bull Ring, known for its high-speed thrills, became the stage for a heart-stopping moment that would forever be etched in motorsport history. Ryan Tvita, pushing his car to the limit, found himself running wide and onto the treacherous gravel trap. In an instant, Carrie's car lost grip, sending him spinning back onto the racing line in a cloud of dust and debris. Blinded by the gravel spray, Peter Lee, who was closely following, had no time to react. He slammed into the back of Tvita's car with a sickening crunch. The impact was so severe that Lee's car was launched into the air, somersaulting in a spectacular and terrifying display of physics gone wrong. Time seemed to stand still as the vehicle rotated, its wheels pointing skyward before crashing back down to earth with a jarring thud. That shot actually illustrates the dust, doesn't it? Because you couldn't see uh, Peter Lee until it was too late. No. And by the same token, Peter Lee could not see 
Twitter oh. until it was too late. The 1992 F3000 race in Japan began with a scene of utter chaos. As the lights went out and the cars prepared to launch forward, disaster struck. A car near the front of the grid suddenly kicked into anti-stall, its engine grinding to a halt. Simultaneously, another car at the back of the grid experienced the same issue, creating a ripple effect down the tightly packed field. As the front runners managed to navigate through the confusion, the cars in the midfield and rear were not so fortunate. With the anti-stall causing a momentary loss of power, the closely bunched cars had nowhere to go. In a heartbeat, the track transformed into a scene of destruction. The 2013 F3 race at the Red Bull Ring in Austria began with a harsh lesson for some of the young drivers, that two cars into one tight corner doesn't always end well. One driver, pushing hard to gain positions at the start, misjudged the entry to turn one. In a split second, their car snapped out of control, spinning a full 180 degrees and leaving them facing the wrong way on the track. The other drivers committed to their lines and, with nowhere to go, could only watch in horror as the scene unfolded. The stricken car, now a stationary target, was a sitting duck for the oncoming traffic. Another driver, unable to avoid the spinning vehicle, slammed into it head-on with a sickening crunch. The impact was so severe that both cars were instantly eliminated from the race, their chances of success shattered in the blink of an eye. Mas Granagan qui est parti en tête à queue et qui provoque euh, une série oulala d'accidents, mais effectivement euh, beaucoup de voitures impliquées. As the 2013 race at Silverstone entered its final stages, the battle between Al Faisal and Tommaso Menchini was reaching a fever pitch. With just seven laps remaining, both drivers knew that every moment counted, and they pushed their cars to the limit in pursuit of victory. As they approached the notorious Turn 3, a tight, slow speed section that had claimed many victims over the years, the tension was palpable. Al Faisal, chasing hard, saw an opportunity to make a move. He knew that if he could just get past Menchini, he would have a clear shot at the podium. But in his eagerness to seize the moment, Al Faisal misjudged his braking point. As he hit the pedal, his car suddenly snapped out of control, sending him careening towards Menchini's vehicle. In a split second, the two cars made contact, and the world seemed to hold its breath. The impact was brutal. Menchini's car, struck with incredible force, was sent twisting and flipping through the air, a sickening ballet of metal and carbon fiber. The 2016 POW F3 race got off to a chaotic start. As the drivers jostled for position heading into turn one, one car pushed just a little too hard, running wide and setting off a chain reaction that would ultimately bring out the red flag. The driver, perhaps overconfident or simply caught out by the tricky conditions, lost control of their vehicle and skidded off the racing line. In the blink of an eye, they found themselves in the path of oncoming traffic, a sitting duck amidst the high-speed mayhem. The other drivers, committed to their lines and with little time to react, had no choice but to take evasive action. Some managed to slip past unscathed, their quick reflexes and deft maneuvering saving them from disaster. But others were not so lucky, and the track soon became became a scene of carnage. There's a crash already further back. We've got cars pointed in the wrong direction. Two have come together. Then there might be a pilot. One of the frame of cars is in there. There is a pilot. Nobody can avoid. Giovanni Bonanno was driving on the edge, pushing his car to its absolute limits. The young Italian was determined to make his mark on the race, but fate had other plans. As he navigated the twists and turns of the circuit, his steering suddenly failed, sending him hurtling towards the tire barrier. In a split second, Bonanno's race was over, his car slamming into the wall of rubber with a sickening crunch. The Japan F3000 race took a dramatic turn when Akihiko Nakaya, battling for position in the final chicane, was squeezed by his rival. The two cars collided, launching Nakaya's vehicle towards the tire barrier, narrowly missing a nearby marshal. The tire wall absorbed the impact as the marshal dove to safety. Medical crews rushed to extract Nakaya from the wreckage, a stark reminder of the risks faced by drivers and marshals alike. So there you have it, folks. Twenty of the most insane 
insane, gut-wrenching crashes in Formula 3 history that somehow slipped under the radar. From Wayne Boyd's miraculous escape in Macau to Ollie Caldwell's car being torn in half at Silverstone, we've seen it all. These crashes remind us why F3 is such a crucial stepping stone to F1. It's where raw talent meets cold, hard reality, where split-second decisions can make or break a career, or worse. But let's not forget, behind each of these spectacular smash-ups is a young driver with dreams of glory. Some bounced back stronger, others never raced again. It's a stark reminder of the risks these speed demons take every time they strap in.